Niente. Shield Hilt Syrie. Después de que todas las armas caigan al suelo, Niente camino sin armadura. También abandono las armas. Mientras caminaba, recordaba el clavo que se detuvo por debajo de su barbilla. La tierra se formó alrededor de su cuerpo. Se volvió templada mientras se dirigía hacia el volcán. Las vides y los dientes calculados y angelamente surgieron el sol. Niente entró en la entrada de la cueva y su amadora entrelazó con fuerza, restringiendo la humedad. Comenzó a sudar profusamente y su aliento se hizo húmedo. Después de pasar el puente, se cayó un mago. Un zafiro blanco atrapó su mirada cuando un estallido de fósforo se seó pronto para ser una fisura. Alcanza a la vez. El zafiro estaba perforando su armadura. Niento gags relief a medida que la castura con cuentas se extiende desde su cuerpo. Y antes se llena de niente y apresuradamente lo arrastra desde la entrada. Clave enciende los humos de fósforo del sitio. Y en una isla de vacío se recogieron los cuatro, el espacio lleva a la pala, no a la izquierda, sino un viento de acuitrón, un cactus medio comido, una fisura, niente. My name's Andante, my name's Clave, I don't speak English. Niente arises from his slumber and begins to peel his armor. No! List the many ways you can speak, and I'll also understand. Okay, how about English? Understood. En pensivo, niente entro en la entrada de la cueva y su armadura entrelazo con fredza restringiendo la humedad. Como humedad. Después de pasar el puente, se cayó un mago. Un zafiro blanco atrapó su mirada cuando un estelado de fósforo. ¿Ti? No. Hmm. ¿Water? No. I'd like a chicken alfredo, please. Anything else? Yes, an hamburger with cheese. No fries. Niente's tea became cold as he ate his hamburger. Andante and Clave were nowhere to be found. After the meal, Niente left the room as he found it, or thought he had found it, and instead walked finding the sidewalk. The fauna reminded him of something distant. The air's humid, and he could hear rain in the distance. As he passed a barrel with food inside, he resisted the temptation to use the lid as a shield, and instead used the lid as sled. His knees are tucked, and his feet are upwards, carving a figure around his an arrow falls to the ground. Before Niente could react, another arrow falls. The volcano erupts in the distance, and Niente lifts his shield to deflect falling cinders sounding similar to hell, leaving a dent. The foobar holding the shield together begins to heat slowly at first. As the cinder falls, so do the arrows. At the bottom of the hill, Niente could still feel the warmth of the shield. Shield Hilt Syrie. Después de que todas las armas caigan al suelo, niente camino sin armadura, también abandono las armas, mientras caminaba recordaba el clavo que se detuvo por debajo de su barbilla. 
la tierra se forma alrededor de su cuerpo, se vuelve a templar mientras se dirige hacia el volcán. Las vidas y los dientes calculados y angelamente sorrieron el sol. Niente entró en la entrada de la cueva y su armadura entrelazó con fuerza restringiendo la humedad. Comenzó a sudar profusamente y su aliento se hizo húmedo. Después de pasar el puente se cayó un mago. Un zafiro blanco atrapó su mirada cuando un estallido de fósforo se seó pronto para ser una fisura. Alcanza. A la vez el zafiro estaba perforando su armadura. Niente gags relief. A medida que la castura con cuenta se extiende desde su cuerpo. Y ante se llena de niente y apresuradamente lo arrastra desde la entrada. Clava enciende los humos de fósforo del seteo y en una isla de vacío se recogieron los cuatro. El espacio lleva a la bala, no a la izquierda, sino un viento de Alcritrian, un cactus medallo comido, una fisura. Miente. Mi llamos es andante. Sí, mi llamos es clave. I don't speak English. Miente arises from his slumber and begins to spill his armor. No, list the many ways you can speak and I will also understand. Okay. How about not English? Understood. En pensivo, niente entro en la entrada de la cueva y su armadura entrelazo con fuerza restringiendo la humedad. Como humedad? Después de pasar el puente se cayó un mago. Un zafiro blanco atrapó su mirada cuando un estallido de fósforo. ¿Tu té? No. Mm, ¿Tu agua? No. ¿Tu polo con queso? Sí. ¿Hamburguesa con tomato no frija? Sí, señor. Gracias. El té de niente se enfrió mientras comía su hamburguesa. Andante y clave no se encontraban en ninguna parte. Después de la comida... Niente sazio de la habitación cuando la encuentro. O pienso que la había encontrado. Y en su lugar camino para encontrar la acera. La fana le recordaba algo distante. El aire estaba húmedo y podía escuchar la lluvia a lo lejos. Cuando pasó un barril con comida en dentro, resistió la tentación de usar la tapa como escudo y en su lugar usó la tapa como trenio. Sus rodillas están dobladas y sus pies hacia arriba talando una figura alrededor de él. Una flecha que el suelo, antes de que niente pueda reaccionar. Otra flecha si es el volcán hace erupción en la distancia. Y niente levanta su escudo para desviar la ceniza que si es a sueña, similar a graninzo, dejaron una abaladora. La fuba que mantiene unido el escuro comienza a calentarse lentamente al principio. A medida que sigue la ceniza, también lo hacen las flechas al pie de la colina. 
niente on podia sentir el calor del escudo. Shield hilt serie. Buscando el vehículo iridescent sin basura y destruyendo las velas perfumadas lentamente, la llama se mueve a un ritmo razonable. Soy el precursor, capando lentamente la pigeonía, la compartiéndose en un párrafo. El lento desenrolamiento del universo se convierte en el mundo y la tierra. Behemothly, el compositor ilumina el mundo. Rashne, hemos salido de Basque, todos nuestros, y tú te atreves a usar ese tono con yo? ¿Qué estamos luchando, Rashne? La Gerona Roja. No, Rashne, es verdad de todo lo que tienes. Acabamos de salir de Basque y te atreves a lograr. Mi teoría tiene teoría. Tal es la estrondosa teoría. Los brazos de T-Rex Evolution van hacia la nada. No, no lo hicieron. Silencio. La heron roja. Habla. Rashne. No creo que sea aconsejable. Segura una guerra tan corta como esta tormenta maligrosa. Cierto, solo ahora estamos fuera del bosque. Invitala a comer con nosotros y compartir nuestra historia. Rashne agita su estandarte y rebela que fue el año del león. Después de que todas las armas caigan al suelo, ni entre caminos en armadura también abando las armas. Mientras caminaba, recordaba el clavo que se detuvo por debajo de su barbilla. La tierra se formó alrededor de su cuerpo, se volvió templada mientras se dormía. Hacia el boquen, las vidas y los dientes calculados, y angelamente surgirán el sol. Y enche, entró en la entrada de la cueva, y su armadura entrelazó con fuerza restringiendo la humedad. Comenzó a sudar profusamente, y su aliento se hizo húmedo. Después de pasar el puente, se cayó un mago. Un zafiro blanco atrapó su mirada cuando en este lado. De fósforo se seó pronto para ser una fisura. Alcanza a la vez el zafiro está la profundo su amadora. Niente gags relief a medida que la castura con cuenta se extiende desde su cuerpo. Y antes se llena de niente y apresuradamente lo arrastra desde la entrada. Clave enciende los humos de fósforo del cierto. Y en una isla de vacío se recogieron. Los cuatro. El espacio lleva a la bala, no a la escriera, sino un viento de alquitrán, un cactus medallo comido, una fesura, niente. My name's Andante. My name's Clave. I don't speak English. Niente arises from his slumber and begins to peel his armor. No, there's the many ways you can speak and I'll also understand. Okay, how about English? Understood. En pensivo niente entro en la entrada de la cueva 
Isu amadura intralazzo con frezza restringendo la humedad. Como humedad? Después de pasar el puente, se quedó un mago, un zafiro blanco atrapó su mirada cuando un estallido de fósforo. ¿Ti? No. Hmm. ¿Water? No. I'd like a chicken alfredo, please. Anything else? Yes. And hamburger with cheese, no fries. Niente's tea became cold as he ate his hamburger. Andante and Clave were nowhere to be found. After the meal, Niente's left the room as he found it or thought he had found it and instead walked finding the sidewalk. The fauna reminded him of something distant. The air's humid and he could hear rain in the distance. As he passed a barrel with food inside, he resisted the temptation to use the lid as a shield and instead used the lid as slit. His knees are tucked and his feet are upwards, carving a figure around his. An arrow falls to the ground. Before Niente could react, another arrow falls. The volcano erupts in the distance and Niente lifts his shield to deflect falling cinder, sounding similar to hell, leaving a dent. The foobar holding the shield together begins to heat slowly at first. As the cinder falls, so do the arrows. At the bottom of the hill, Niente could still feel the warmth of the shield. His sled made a long trail, including the volcanic ash in the snow. All he could hear were the music and the absence thereof. Mostly silence, he panicked. Feeling emotions he's never felt before and manufacturing all manner of devices, he remembered to relax. Slowly, his energy drained and a new armor formed, brassy with intellect. His sheen betrayed him no longer, able to carve himself from the situation. He kept the shield safe and accepted his disposition. Under the clouds, he knew he's not noticed. Food, on the other hand, was an issue. All this ash, not a drip of water to drink. Berries appear. A waffle walks. Transparent barriers appear. Niente continues to walk before the waffle begins to speak. Piercing through the clearing before it dropped, he walked through the haze with the shield above his head. Understanding the pleasures, he had much to say, remained silent. Roots began to spring, and the floor erupted. Niente guards his feet by running. Off the cliff he ran, coasting the air. His armor oozed and dripped, phasing from the situation instead. His armor became pads of mercury, solid and less smooth than expected. His bare feet, cold to the touch, helped him relax as he descended. A large creature greets him. Niente offers his shield as food, and the creature obliges. As the creature chokes, Niente latches and becomes comfortable. Riding the creature to the surface, Niente's armor solidifies. Halt! Do you speak English? No. May you tell where the nearest restaurant remains? No. Niente leaves the creature snared along with the shield and continues. A flashbug Carla set off in the peripherals of the wyvern, and off Kali went in turn, mounting the Rathalos. How y'all doing? As Kali slit his wings to stay the ground, the Rathalos bucked. Kali was in the trees after sent flying. This Rathalos is for another flight. Kali gathered his thoughts, protecting his knees with the pot shield. She and I were pierced by the sonorous image. His cat, Ace, had set off the rapier, and the image of the Gobraja became guests of the Rathalos. In their departure, what great news awaited at the gathering hall? The anticipation. The hunt had survived. Vegetable platter with some pin tuna, Carla? No thanks, I'm eating for two. Good. I'll let the chief know you're eating well. Kaui ventures out on an expedition. Gathering flashbugs, he notices spiderwebs and honey. I'm an Indian, he assures himself. Where's Ace when I need him? 
He asked quietly not to accept the moon. He understood the piercing moment the Odagran gazed his back. Promptly he knew his princess rapier and stings the monster with the thorn. The monster gags and stutter steps. Kawi follows the monster through the stammer and finishes the insidiously fragrant, profuse, and bloody quad pod with the flash bomb. The Odagaron didn't plume as a flower chief. Say hi to your new pet. Kawi, no means no, chief. Ura, great name, chief. Meanwhile, at the guest house, Kawi, I need you to pick up some eggs. You got it. I'm back. Wow, Kawi. I asked you to bring some eggs, and you brought kezu eggs? It wasn't easy, but I'll let you decide. Where'd you find them? When I found the chief's pet in the frozen seaway somewhere between the there and the verdant hills. The frozen seaway? I meant the verdant hills. Perhaps these kezu eggs aren't edible. You're not the boss. Right. Guess what the chief named the Odagaran? Hurrah! You didn't, Kali. Anyway, how are the hunting horns? Outnumbered, I suppose. Good one, Kezu egg expert. Kali thinks to himself, What suppose we go visit Carla? I don't think that's a good idea, Kali. Hmm. Are you speaking another language, Kali? Yes. Mind if I bunk here for the night? Sure. That wasn't a question. Ready for the next quest, are you? Verdant Hills again? Actually, we're going to some place a bit more tropical. I was hoping you would say the forest where I slayed my first kutku. Nope, it's the volcano, and you have one less flash bomb. Charlotte, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Go away. The chief's your grandmother. Remember, Kavi, I can't go in the lava. Remember me, do ya? The wrath of those soars out of the lava, dripping, lava spewing, exploding, and crackling. The stench of burnt moss fills the air. A flash bomb erupts, and the wrath of those crackles. Kawe's raya hilts the throat and causes the neck to explode. Kawe knew that wrath of those had been dead at that moment, and the explosion caught his shield. Later that evening, Kawe approached the bedded Rathalos on the island surrounded by lava. While he bagged the Rathalos, he made sure to leave some for the rest of the ecosystem, undulating his breath through his nose. Charlotte didn't have time to welcome him back. Kawe brings food to the village, feeds the chief's pet, Era, and hands his shield to the barrel cat, Ace. She didn't have time to welcome him back either. Charlotte didn't have time to welcome him back. Kawe brings food to the village, feeds the sh chief's pet, Erda, and hands his shield to the barrel cat, Ace. She didn't have time to welcome him back either. As Niente continued to walk, having lost his shield, he remembers the tea he drank, cold, and after a hamburger. His afternoon thought remained hesitant and he felt like he had forgot to pack something. As he became transparent, the fruits of the cacti began to emerge from the sky. Remembering the forest that may once be, he continued to walk foreboding the sense that some fruit also do not have thorns. He places a flower between his ear and listened to the surrounding. Following the music and leaving the rain behind, the flower begins to eat his ear. As the flowers absorbed, he could smell the pollens contesting his sinus. The air is acidic but cloudy. A dust storm greets his direction and two leaves cover his eyes. Gentle chirps guide his way around the thunder. The lightning struck every which direction and walked up and down the dunes. Insisting he had his sled, he'd rather eat air than the fruit offered by the sky. His heart flutters. A shimmering light does guide him. Another shimmering light does guide him. And another shimmering light does guide him. By the time he had exited the storm, it was evening. Unpacking the night, the dunes under his feet sifted. The winds became calm, and the night stars shimmered like an oasis reflecting a lake from below the surface. 
He knew it's not safe at an oasis, and he leaves from his ears, fell to the ground. He drank the night from his backside and soothed the coolness from his back, and the stars reflected in his eyes. Drinking from the ground, two scorpions appear and fight each other. A rail limb disconnects. Niente hesitates. What's left is the flail. Niente hesitates. Niente picks up an object and proceeds to the oasis. Niente offers the tail, and a coconut receives his head. Niente. On Dante, he's drinking coconut milk from his head. Clave, he's playing music. Niente arises from his slumber and begins to peel the armor from his eyes. No, tell me what language you speak and I will understand the many ways. How about English? You guys again? Niente blinks and recalls. Francamente no le di diamantes. En cambio su diamante. De se origina in 1929. Desde que tengo memoria su amor institucional permanencia tan tranquilo como un meteorito en el espacio. Le envié por SMS frases simples que enseñaban su dialecto. Como recuerdo, las frases... Eran de frases italianas, simples como mujeres hermosas, pero nunca chao. Insiste en que mi hermana mejor lo entendía ahora, cuando la conoce en Vegas. Al norte del ecuador se mantuvo el temperamento, como ella me informó, no despieres mi pasión. Después de todo, he un no en no hacer. Como entendí, su siglo de fresa tiene la sensación de alcanzar mi deseo. Insiste en que ella despierta mi deseo. Mientras ya sea allí haciendo preguntas. Es esto lo que es el matrimonio. Me desperta en un instante recordando mis límites. Al verla partir, entre en la columna. Mi último obstáculo desde la ciudad. Mientras descanso, mis pensamientos se alejan. De hay más en la vida y ella es americana. Ahora. Sin embargo... Cuando la encuentre en la ciudad ventosa, pueda esparme en Lexington. Un pensamiento sombrío me dejó sombrío de alguna manera cuando recuerda mi traducción. Mientras ya sea aquí haciendo ejercicio, practicando y institucionalizando Solo me dijen, entendido, ya que no quiera que ella me viera lograr. Acuérdate de mi feliz siempre. Era lo que quiera decir, pero la situación se había talando. Escupirme a partir de esta situación. Debo hacerlo. También me vino... A la mente, pero luchar por el pensamiento había invadido mi alivio. Resoplando por el evento superador que había acudido. Fui de su abrazo y encontré un brote. Finalmente sus flores saltaron a la mente, pero de donde soy. Las flores están en Todas partes, en su mayoría, peligrosas. Nuestro plan original para reunirnos era ahora de Niro y regreso a la ciudad en junio. Pero como ella es nueva en el país, todo el país es suyo para explorar. Una nueva vida la esperaba. 
me despio del pensamiento recuerda el libro que detiene mi imprimación. Mientras tocaba mi música para ella, ella dijo, podría morir sin escuchar tu música otra vez. Cuando la escuché lograr, simplemente actué una y otra vez. Desperté a toda la provincia con mi canción. Enseñando algo de éxito, recuerdo al papá y di todo lo que tenía, insistiendo. Donde he volunteer hay un camino. Un vez en entendimiento, me casé con ella ese día y le agradecí a un chico. Después de todo, conocí a su hija. En este punto no recuerdo ningún detalle, excepto seguir sosteniéndola. Lo que quiera es el nombre, y desde ese punto entendí un trebo de cuatro joyas desde mi perspectiva que nunca podría daría a Beethoven algún sentido de dirección en su sinfonía. Insisto en que el nombre de nuestro hice es nombre. Mis pensamientos corrieron ingeniosamente hasta convertirse en un mecón. Al conocer, gané su amor en la eternidad terreno. Washne se había creditado, pero el misterio no. El peso de mi deseo. Había pesado una tonelada. Se llamaba Rasne? Ni en tute? No. Agua? Hmm. McDonald's? Yes. Niente absorbs the warmth of her heart and wonders, does she speak English? I think she wanted Kentucky Fried Chicken. As we both stare at each other, I blink. I have a concussion. You drive. She hands me the keys. Niente hawks a loogie and brings a red paperclip up to his face. She puts the key in the ignition and orders chicken nuggets. As Niente leaves the restaurant, passing the shrubbery, inhaling the fresh air, he leaves the trail to cross the inherent path. A shooting star bounces from the atmosphere and a seagull appears. A feather falls into the mud. The wind becomes airy. Changing directions, Niente points in the clouds submerge. The sheen of his armor clanks. Niente feigns to the ground and a rumble emerges from the distance. Meteors descend. As Niente buries himself in slumber, and without hesitation, it became the meteors that buries him in the fertile soil. Niente! Los puntos de niente a las nubes fortiles se sumergen. No blackberry, no lecho, tardes día, cera día, noche día, media tardes, leche y blackberry no trabajo. Bueno cera, blackberries y leche, uno cansado, uno litre o blackberry leche y un liter o blackberry lecho. Buenas noches, Blackberry y Suenos. Sí, ma, mi no quiera sueño. Se lo mal. No habla ma. Ah, uh, no siento. Lecho de Blackberry. Sí, tu lechberry, lecho. No, no mi lecho. Tu lecho. Gracias. De nada. Vamos al cine. Qué peculiar. No se vamos cuatro medalla. Si, sí, I love you. Niente. Tu te? No. Agua? Hmm. Polo con queso. Yes. Anything else? You drive. Any last request? Yes. What is your last request? Niente continues to walk. The question was executed and beheaded. Niente's armor then became as he expected. He gathers berries. He ate so many berries, Niente became pigmented. 
He looks up to the top of the trees and notices more berries. He looks across the way and notices a long stick. He knew the height of the tree but had no armor on, and neither did he have an appetite to gather more berries. He climbs the tree, careful not to disturb the bird's nest, and after gathering berries, he leaves some berries in the nest, and every bird begins attacking him. Niente grabs the stick and clangs to no effect. No amount of sound could scrape the anger of the birds from his body. Again, Niente guarded himself by running. After running into the tree, the bird's nest fell and the birds retreated. The echo of his clang caught him. Niente! Tute? No. Water? No. Hmm. Spaghetti with vodka sauce. Yes. Anything else? Orange juice. Niente slowly rises from his slumber. The cold spaghetti freshly cooked and sparkling orange cider had become clean dishes. The birds chirped in amusement and a speck. Niente is wearing a sock. Niente drinks from the wash bucket but doesn't roll out of bed. A dog greets him and licks the scar on his back. Niente notices a cellar door from the pavilion and a passage below the table. Both Niente and the sock retreats from below, creating a muffled sound. The interior is wet with moss and a glisten of rain becomes drizzle in the background. Niente slips in his Raihuin de Naranja. Niente se la banta lentamente de su sueño. Los espeguetes fríos recién hechos y la sidra de naranja brillante se sabien convertido en platos limpios. Los pajaros cantaron controversia y una mancha. Niente leva un calcetín. Niente bebe del cubo. De la paro, pero no se la panta de la carne, pero lo saluda y le llame la cicatriz en la espalda. Y te nota una puerta del sotano desde el pabellón y un pasaje debajo de la mesa. Tanto niente como el calcetín se retiran debajo creando un sonido amortiguado. El interior está húmedo de musgo y un brillo de lluvia se convierte en los vinsna en el fondo. Niente se respla y su calcetín se desintegra del cuero. Los perros Tenían miedo del pozo que encontró. Al salir de la cueva, está detrás de una cascada. Encuentra una criatura y ofrece el calcetín restante como comida. Cuando la criatura se ha estragado, Niente ascendió mientras respiraba con dificultad, respirando con un corso y saliendo de la superficie. También entierra a la criatura con su cuero. La criatura explota y Niente enciende un fuego. La tinta se convierte en su cara. Niente. Ti. No. Agua? No. Hmm. Roasted marshmallow. Yes. Tea? Yes. Niente blinks from his sleep. The ink on his face absorbed through his eyelids. He begins to sweat through his organs. Thinking ahead, he leaves the bungalow's archway and hopes he can catch up to the village later in the evening. Not a volcano in sight. Niente is relieved. He heads toward the strait and begins scraping bark as colorful as the explosion he remembered behind the waterfall. Suddenly, he felt the gaze of a lovely flower and heard the river narrow. Collecting the leaves but not the flower and placing the leaves gently on the bark, a spear lands. Ricocheting from the earth, a deer skitters. 
The intake gathers the flower in an instant and drops the bark. Returning to the bungalow, the village had already departed. Niente, niente sale del bungalow, con la paja fresca in el pelo. Said Desliza, para pensar a que habría sabido el chievo. Sin embargo, había contribuido con una flor, caldo e hizo malvaviscos. Su armadura cayó en cielo y le ofreció a la criatura un plato. Cuando la criatura se asfixió, niente asciende y se encuentra temblando. En tierra, niente ve las dos flechas que aterrizan previamente. Había muchas tapas de barril. Niente se sintió tranquilo de que el boquen había quedado inactivo y que la cueva estaba aislada. No hubo entradas esta vez. There he was just minding his business, not a thing to do. He looked to the left and looked to the right. It was a sock that made him smile. Pots and pans, clothes, pins are things that he desired. For what it's worth and nothing more. The fish is on the fire. Who's that laughing? Nothing left but a spare goes. With the rocket to the moon and all this cheese. What's more, there's even liberty. He went to school and learned his warts. Further did he go. He looked to the left and looked to the right. With a mischievous grin he sighed. Pots and pans, clothes, pins are things that he desired. For what it's worth and nothing more. The fish is on the fire. Who's that laughing? Nothing left but a spare goes. With the rocket to the moon and all this cheese. What's more, there's even freedom. There he was, just minding his business, not a thing to do. He looked to the left and looked to the right. With a mischievous grin he sighed. Pots and pans, clothes, pins are things that he desired. For what it's worth and nothing more. The fish is on the fire. Who's that laughing? Nothing left but a spare goose. With rocket to the moon and all this cheese. What's more, there's even liberty. Niente walks and recalls and remembers the many ways. As he contemplates, he remembers the warmth of his eyes as he stares into the desert sky on the cold desert sand. His thoughts began to sediment. I am his thoughts. A giant earthworm grabs his neck and pulls him into the sky. As he fractals into ice, his heart slows and his breath becomes heavy. His breath freezes his body and the weight returns him to the earth, shattering and becoming water. Chunks of ice become debris, spreading across the sand like beads. Niente is left sprawling and in contortion, resembling something alien. He's not ever slept previously in this fashion. Niente. Hmm. Chicken con queso. Yes. Niente se virgune sus pensamientos cada vez más concretos, solidificado en su posición, reconstituye y malformas insistiendo en que se entiere en la arena. La arena comienza a derribarlo, se vuelve quieto como una roca, Y la arena deja de dar riparo. El ojo de niente picadera y nadie está alrededor. Para rascar, parpadea la arena, tira más de su peso. El parpadea de nuevo, 
nietecie a través de la tierra y en un acuífero, emergiendo de un niengue de resorte caliente, tiene un par de zapatos capturados por la garganta. Mientras se rejaba, ya no del para toser un par de cordones de zapatos que está ahora en el océano. Sumergir, sumergir, sumergir a los peces suje el vientre y niente comió los globos aculares, incluido el cartucho. Flotando a la orilla, noto un dólar de arena. Un cangrejo gigante emerge y come el dólar de arena. El continua ni te se da cuenta de un tocan y continua. Un cangrejo gigante emerge y come el tocan de los arboles. Ni te continua. Un cangrejo gigante emerge y tose un tocón de árbol y muere. Niente. Polo queso. Sí. Enjoy your evening. Love you. Niente. Niente walks into the swamp, inhaling the fresh petrol, the algae accumulating another colorful tree. Insisting the canopy existed and hesitant collects blueberries. From this point, a blue frog chirps decimals beyond zero in the back of his mind. Two seconds ago, he was holding a blueberry. He breathes on the algae. Soon, the breath of the swamp became much cooler, and the butterflies emerged with razor spines cutting niente. His pores opened and his sweat became dry. The swamp beckons him further and passes the rubber tree. Instead, he created a canopy of his making and cradled cinnamon backtracking to his entrance, leaving no blood behind and closing his pores, returning to where he thought he spotted a canopy. A cricket chirped and the body of a dead child floats down the stream. Gelato Sunday? Sí, con cinnamon. Te quiero. Niente. Niente walks across the movie screen. All es pequeña cine. This small film appears on the screen. Hmm, I read aerial fishing requires a kite. Instead of aerial fishing, let us hunt instead. No, I enjoy the lake. Besides, it's also night and the stars are shimmering. Wind shear is only about four miles per hour. However, you are devastatingly beautiful. At what ceiling? Chicago. To Espanol? Me llamos Carla. Me te amos es cabica. Una mesa, por favor. Huego de najala y manzana. Y ensalada de spinach con queso. Y tú? Mismo. Gracias. Que pensivo. El es un hombre. Cloning is a dark art. Si, sí, ma pensivo no hay. Hmm. Dos juego y dos ensalada con queso. Disfruta. Vamos al museo. Que museo? Museum of Natural Art. Niente. This has been a story by... David Lawrence Harper, also known as Kavika. Niente and Shield Hilt Siri is copyrighted under Fugue for Mimi, found in A Sailor's Journey by David Harper. Copyrights reserved by David Harper.